Hey everybody, this is Doggy080 with a bit of an update video for you guys. I think I have mostly good news for you guys this time in this particular update. I wanted to just kind of start uploading videos, but at the same time, I didn't just want to come back uploading videos. I think it would be... I wanted to at least take a moment to update you guys and let you all kind of know the the things I've been thinking about and a few things that I'm planning on changing around here on the channel um, moving forward. A lot of this stuff is things that you've probably heard before, but seeing how there's been a number of interesting changes here on YouTube that have kind of directed me to to change up a few of my ideas on what I want to do here. I want to give you guys a bit of an update on that and a few personal things that I've kind of been going through over the past few years or so. Those of you who have been following kind of these personal blog things kind of know what I'm talking about, but I'll touch on that very briefly at the end of this video if that's something you're interested in. As for the content that I'm going to be producing on this channel, it's going to largely be about the same. There's going to be Let's Plays. But I do want to open the door for more video gamey type discussion videos and programming. I actually picked programming up again after dropping it several times in the past. I remember having very positive experiences the last two times I tried programming and I think I really want to pick it up again and see where it goes. And I can kind of show off some of that here on this channel. I think that would fit on this channel. Although, I guess it could fit on the other channel also. Maybe I'll figure something out. Maybe I'll figure something out. But, um, programming is also something I'm very interested in. And <laughs> I think it'll be kind of fun, too, because I don't know anything about programming. I know very, very little about programming. And I think it would be really cool to see someone go from knowing absolutely nothing about programming or making games and becoming a game programmer. I think that would be a really fun story to share with you guys. I want this channel to specifically be a video game channel. I'm of course changing this a little bit from my previous update video where I said I want to bring art stuff to this channel like like uh, speed drawings and animations and things like that. I'm changing that up specifically because of the way YouTube seems to work nowadays. I'm noticing YouTube kind of having a very strange favor towards um, YouTube channels with a very specific focus. I think if I start tossing too many things on this YouTube channel, then you gotta kind of, you gotta kind of pay attention to the YouTube algorithm. That's one thing that I've learned here on YouTube over these years is that the algorithm, at the end of the day, the algorithm wins. And if you can't win with the algorithm, then I don't necessarily want to say you're dead in the water. Uh, I, there are some, some variety channels out there that still do pretty good, but as you all know, uh, this YouTube channel has a ton of red tape around it, specifically because of Nintendo. The, um, all the copyright claims on my Nintendo videos just has me kind of leaning more towards separating this channel with a specific art channel. It at least, it's at least going to give me, by separating the channel into two different channels, it's at least going to give me some peace of mind knowing that if anything does happen to this channel specifically, I'll still have the art channel that I could fall back on and do things over there. I was also planning on doing some kind of uh, cross-promotional thing with both of them. Like, I'll do a little bit of art stuff on the gaming channel, and a little bit of gaming stuff on the art channel. Just uh, to give you an example, if, for example, I were to make a really good art vlog that I want to share with more people, I might re-upload that particular art vlog over on this channel. And speaking of Nintendo, I'd actually like to mention them for just a moment. Ever since they kind of drenched my channel in these these copyright claim things, I've kind of hesitated putting out Nintendo content because 
because I don't know. It just it's it's <laughs> like I said, it's it's a ton of red tape that's on the channel now. And yeah, of course the option is I could just delete all of the Nintendo videos, but that's that's a little bit ridiculous and I think many of you who have come to this channel either was because of the Nintendo videos or because you want to see more Nintendo videos. So I've I've just kind of decided that I'm not going to let Nintendo dictate the types of videos that I make anymore. If I put time and energy into something and it gets copyrighted by Nintendo, that's just gonna have to be the way that it is. I'm not gonna worry about their copyright claims, I'm not gonna worry about their silly things that they're doing behind the scenes. Unless it very specifically threatens the channel as like a copyright strike. A copyright strike would be super terrible and I would probably do things in that specific situation. But as far as copyright claims go, just moving forward, I'm not going to worry about them anymore. I'm just going to play the games I want to play. If Nintendo decides to copyright claim them, then that's just going to have to be the case. And I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I have so many emails that till this day I still get of Nintendo copyright claiming my stuff. As unfortunate as it is, I don't think it should affect the channel anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I guess it's just the way things are gonna have to be now. With that being said, I do still... I've always had a dream of mine to make this whole YouTube thing work. I've been on this platform for many, many years, and I've seen tons and tons of extremely talented people come and go. And I just, I feel because of the situations that I've been in in the past, um, I've never really had that opportunity to push this channel as far as it can go. And with the whole Nintendo thing kind of being ridiculous, like it tends to be at times. Moving forward, I am going to be pushing things like Patreon a bit more. It's not going to be in your face all the time, but it's definitely going to be something that I just... That I just mentioned from time to time, because... At the end of the day, this is a dream of mine. I want, I want this whole YouTube thing to work. And you know, maybe it's not even YouTube. Maybe some of the things that I'm planning in the future end up being the big goals of mine. But maybe something dealing with the game, game programming that I'm, I'm dipping my toes into. Maybe something that deals with the animations that I'm dipping my toes into. Any one of those things could be the big dream of mine. But the way I see it, the way I have everything planned out, Patreon is going to be a big part of that. And I think that option should at least be well known to people. Whether they like the art stuff, the let's plays, the music stuff, the animation stuff. <laughs> Moving forward, Patreon's definitely going to be something that um, I'm a little bit less shy about. But there will be more about that when the time comes. I, I just at least felt the need to mention it here. Uh, bu 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 bu. Streaming! Streaming's a thing that I want to do. Um, I dabbled around a little bit in streaming late last year and I had tons of fun doing it. I want to bring that back, but I'm kind of debating which platform I want to stream on. I had a good time streaming here on YouTube, but I kind of want to try out streaming Twitch as well. So I'm thinking I might end up streaming... Like, there, there's a part of me that wants to stream on Twitch, specifically if it's video game stuff, because of the condition that my YouTube channel is in. But at the same time, streaming here on YouTube... ...did fine also. <laughs> there's just, I, there's so many games that I want to stream. I want to stream... Mario Maker, I'd love to stream Smash Brothers. Um... There's a few other games that I picked up that I would love to stream. So maybe once, twice, maybe three times a week I'll be able to get a decent stream in for everybody. I just, I really enjoyed that, that interaction. I enjoyed, there's just something different, something new, something fun and fresh. I thought it was super fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, let me see, let me see. What else, what else do I need to mention? But just at the, and I think just, ah. Uh, I just think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this whole YouTube thing, this whole online thing, I shouldn't just, just, um, I shouldn't just isolate it to YouTube, but this whole online thing has been just 
it's been not only has it been the biggest dream of mine but it's been a huge commitment over the past oh my goodness this year it's going to be 10 years this channel is going to be 10 years old this year doggy 080 is going to be 10 years old this year wow that's a bit crazy <laughs> that's a bit crazy but it's been a huge commitment and like I said everything that's kind of gotten in the way I just I want to succeed at this guys I want to put I want to bring it to the next level I want to see what it is I want to see what it is that I can do to bring this to the next level and a lot of that kind of comes down to the whole mental mental situation that's been going on it's it's one of those things where you don't really know that there was a problem there until it became a problem <laughs> i'd really like to do a video further detailing this but one of the big one of the big things that i've learned over these past few months is that i I've, i kind of know i know what the problem is now and i kind of know how to deal with it i have an entire video planned about that and it's gonna take some time to put out but i think at the end of the day it might help a lot of people i think it'll, it'll definitely help me it'll help me it might help a lot of other people i think that's been one of the one of the things that have been that has been holding me back is that alongside everything else that has been going on but maybe the mental stuff has been holding me back even more than that stuff and i think it's and I think it's really good that I at least have names to to the things that I've been going through. I know that I'm not crazy, that I have been going through things, and that there's actually reasons behind it. Like I said, I don't want to touch on it too much because I do have a video planned, and I kind of just want to start uploading videos again and streaming and, and all that stuff. But I do have a lot of hope moving forward, you know? I wouldn't be doing these videos if I didn't at least believe in myself to, to finally push through to create that thing that I know to reach my full potential. There you go. There you go. I think every I think everything that we've been through has just been the beginning. And I'm really looking forward to seeing where this whole art thing takes me, where this whole programming thing takes me. And I think everything that I know now I'll be able to use that knowledge to maneuver around previous hurdles that would have previously stopped me. And I think I'm in a better place. Um, better understanding of things. I think my goals are a bit more refined. Like, I know specifically what it is that I want to do. And that's, that's a good feeling. It's a good feeling... Uh, kind of knowing what it is that I want to do <laughs> but but yeah I think I might have rambled on just a little bit more than I've wanted to but yeah you could expect more videos from me I, I've got some things recorded right now I'm editing them right now um, the goal is as for as per usual two videos a day five days a week let's see if we can hit it this time guys I'm like I said, I'm feeling pretty good about this stuff. And, uh, yeah. And I couldn't possibly thank you guys anymore for, for <laughs> tolerating all of this, this stuff that I've kind of been going through. I don't know exactly how to put it in words, but I really do appreciate everyone's support. Everyone who's, who's stuck by my side. Everyone who's contributed to the Patreon. Everyone who understands the situations that I've been through. Um, you guys are a huge reason <laughs> you guys are a huge reason why I continue to do this stuff and yeah like I said I couldn't possibly thank you anymore but yeah moving forward new stuff coming very excited to to just knock it out of the park let's make 2018 the best year let's just make it the best year that's the title <laughs> hashtag 2018 best year <laughs> Oh my goodness. But anyway, thank you very much again, guys. I have been Doggy080. I hope you're looking forward to new content. Like I said, I think I'm in a really good situation. And moving forward, let's create some cool things together. I think it'll be really, really fun.
So take it easy, guys. I've been Doggy080. I'll see you next time on... What do I have recorded? Cuphead? Let's get Cuphead going again. <laughs> Let's bring back the Minechester Mystery House. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll talk about Mario Kart 8 in a little bit, okay? That game is hard. That game is hard. I'm going to have to change the rules or something. Because that game is hard. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. See you next time, guys. Goodbye. <laughs>